Yard sales. Yard sales. Yard sales. Yard sales. Let's go. What is good everyone? Welcome back to the retro world. Guys, in today's video, we are picking up a local deal. We're hitting up the pawn shop and then we're also gonna hit up a few yard sales. Let's go ahead and get into it. So 40 for everything was cool? Yeah. Awesome. And you said that game was in there too, that yep. one you're throwing in? Yeah, it's awesome. in there. Cool, man, I appreciate it. Thanks again. All right, guys, 40 bucks. We'll take a look at everything when we get back to the house. Guys, we are at the pawn shop and we came across a couple of pretty sweet games in the PS3 section. We got the Jack and Daxter collection and let's see what they're asking for. Oh, five bucks, that's a great deal. And we got the Ratchet and Clank collection as well for five bucks. Yo, $10 for both of these is an amazing freaking deal. Let's go. But before going, let's see if there's anything else that we wanna pick up. Star Wars 3, I mm, think we're good on that. Mass Effect 3, I think we have that one, I'm not sure. There's two games here. XCOM, and, oh, yo, dude, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Guys, this is why you check the games when they look like this, because you have no idea. Yo, this is insane. I never heard of this game. Dude. Yes, let's freaking go. <laughs> 15 bucks, guys, look at this. This is crazy. This is a great freaking day. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, guys, and that is how much we spent after tax, $16.20. What a great deal. All right, guys, back at the house. Let's take a quick look at everything we picked up. First up, we have Ratchet and Clank. This is the collection on the PS3. Something about these collections are so freaking awesome. Just being able to play some of these older games remastered in HD all in one collection is freaking sweet. And these things keep going up in value as well. So that is always nice when you get it for a great price. Next up, we have Jack and Daxter, the collection remastered in HD. I have played through the first game. It's been on my backlog to play through the second Second game this year so hopefully i get around to it and then eventually i would love to play the third game as well but i absolutely loved the first game so i can only imagine the second and the third are probably just as great or hopefully close to it this i need to double check i know i actually have the ratchet and clink collection that you guys just saw in my ps3 collection so that's great we're gonna be able to flip that one and that's gonna pretty much pay for everything this one i need to double check i think we might have this too Mm, I'm not entirely sure though. I feel like maybe we don't and I'm just confused with something else, but hopefully we don't have it and we get to add it to the collection. And then guys, y'all saw it in real freaking time. Always check those random games that look like this because you never know what it could be. In this case, I was completely blown away. It was Splatterhouse for the PS3, a game that has been on my list for quite a while. I have been wanting to check this one out. So I am stoked to finally have a loose copy to play. Now, is this something I necessarily need to keep in the collection? It's really going to depend. And if you guys are new here, you probably have no idea how I like to collect. I pick up the games that I want to play. And then sometimes if we already have them and we know we can flip them, of course, we're going to do that as well because that just makes all of this a lot easier. But this is one of those games I've been wanting to check out for a long time. I know it has a decent amount of value. So for five bucks, this is a great deal. Pretty much what I will do is I will play the game if I love it. I have to keep it. I can't just get rid of the game. But if I play it, even a, like, let's say I play two hours, let's say I play an hour and I'm just like, yo, this game is not for me. I don't need to keep this game. I can sell this, get the funds from that to add other stuff into the collection. That's what we do here on this channel. Let's freaking go. Yeah. So, those are awesome, man. Uh, I gotta, I gotta I'm sure you'll sell that. a bunch of them. Oh yeah, I'm hoping so. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta play this room uh, today with okay. the community sales. Nice, man. He's got a lot of stuff over there. You'll like, man. Oh, awesome. Well, good seeing you, dude. Good seeing I'm going to take a look, see what else you got. How much you got on the consoles? Um, Right now, I'm running 
130 okay. on the Nintendo 64. Okay. 130 on the NES. Okay. And then they I'm look doing, clean. I'm doing 300 on the oh, Switch. Oh, dang. I didn't even see that. Because wow. <laughs> I've got a bunch of extra accessories in it, an extra nice. game. It's got a bunch of stuff downloaded on it. Okay. Um, and then, It's cool just to see that. You know, like, I do box my bundles. So. Yeah, yeah. Usually the 64, everything comes over three games. Oh, that's not bad. Um, and then this one, I got Double Dragon with it. Um, oh, nice. Top Gun. I just, um, I, was, I was just playing Double Dragon last night. I really? downloaded the Nintendo Switch online. I was like, I don't want to pull. I don't want to plug it in. I was like, I'll just play it that way. <laughs> when, so. I, when I went to test, that was the one I played. Okay, nice, man. <laughs> fun game. I didn't beat it, but it was fun. <laughs> cool, man. I appreciate the uh, the content you put up. Man. Yeah, dude. I literally. Thanks I saw, for the deals. <laughs> do you know when I saw the video and I saw the big uh, the plush donut you bought from me? Yep. I'm like, hey. hey. That's me. <laughs> I was like, I feel like that would look good on the thumbnail. Yeah. So, <laughs> cool, man. Well, good seeing you, dude. I'm gonna look around. Hello. Oh, it's kind of got some scratches though. I might pass on this. Cool to see though. Got some ninja turtles. Ten bucks. Oh man, you guys got a lot of toys. <sighs> I need some Ghostbusters. Dude. Alright. Getting him. Hey, I have him already. Well, not this big one, but. Mystic Knight. That looks like Batman, maybe. Guys, there's a lot in here. I don't want to miss out on it. Oh, that Joker is really cool looking, too. I don't need him. Is pretty rad. 2011. Still cool. Man, alright, well, I'm gonna get this guy. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Dude, they remade him. That's cool though. Oh, uh, okay. No my, physical games then. Yeah, the ones I was looking at was like... Uh, guys, I didn't get the footage because we started a conversation, but they had this Switch game out, and they were asking for five bucks. So I've actually been wanting to play this game. Five dollars, I feel like, was a pretty good deal. Let's go. Good morning. Got some pillows. Oh yeah. Yeah, we just set them out there. And... How much are you guys asking for per? Fifty cent, maybe something like that. Fifty cents each. That's okay. even too much. I don't know. Okay. There's just so many of them. Yeah. Most people don't. don't I just collect them. them. I, I yeah. That's why I told her. I said somebody would come along that just collects these things. Probably just yeah. Because like I am, I'm like the old stuff and that you don't see anymore. It's kind of more the nostalgic stuff. So for fifty cents, yeah, I'll definitely at least pick one up for sure.
think I'm gonna pass on this, but still, really, really cool to see. From Lion King. Clearing out all the old toys, huh? <laughs> Any other gaming stuff laying around, or just these? Um, I got a, I still got the four, but I got just some okay. basic games. N nothing older, right? Like no Nintendo, no, nothing like that. Man, I wouldn't let that stuff go. I got you. <laughs> that's that's the stuff I like to collect. I do have a PS4 though. So, what um, what are you asking on per game? You know, five bucks. Five bucks each. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I might get a couple off you. I'll probably get. I got some of these already, so I don't need I don't need all of them. Yeah, they're all, they're all good ones. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get her to go through her toys. All right, guys. He told me he would do three for ten. So then I asked if he would do six for twenty, and he said yes. So we're picking out six games. He's gonna go check to see if there's one of these discs in the house, and. Then we're gonna make a deal. Another yard sale, guys. Wow, it got really windy. And we came across this. Uh, looks like PC games. But you just never know. This is where sometimes you, you find something crazy. You gotta just keep looking. Oh, that's actually awesome. Rugrats. Garfield, all thornberries. Guys, a little bit of a tip, although I'm not about to go through all of these. Apparently, some snow globes can be worth picking up if you find them cheap. So. I've never done it, but I've just heard. Also, they said a dollar for this, and they talked me into it. <sighs> Let's go. You got a little bit of everything, huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're still putting a lot of stuff on. Okay. Is it okay if I look? Or Oh, okay. Man, I feel like you always just run across M&M stuff everywhere you go. And it's so cool looking, though, too. Oh, dang, you guys got a lot of guitars. Clearing out the gaming stuff? Okay. Any idea if all of these are still working, or is it so, kind of a gamble, or? It's kind of a gamble. I know that, uh, that one, the, yeah, the red one, that one works. This one does work? And then the red one works. I'm pretty sure all of the rest do, but we haven't tried them yet. Okay. And how much are you guys asking? So we take all five, uh, 40, 40, 40. I don't need if, hey, I don't, what if you just did one, one or two? 10 okay i'll definitely think about it and i see you guys got other cool stuff i'm gonna take a look got some plush oh you guys got some games i didn't even see these <laughs> and are you guys asking certain prices on the games too or uh, so that, that one, that trilogy, uh, 10. 10 on that okay i might get that off y'all and then the guitar hero games individually Okay, and then this one, just so you know, there is two in there. Okay, yeah. How much are you asking on this? Three bucks. Three? Okay, so we got three and then ten. Okay. Oh, cool, and some Ninja Turtles. Man, you got everything I'm after. Let's see what we got. 1991. Let's see. 1988. I already got him, but I'll probably pick him up too. Splinter, nice. And then the figures. Sorry, I got a lot of questions. This stuff I like. <laughs> How much are you asking per figure? Per figure, um, two bucks. Two bucks each. Pretty awesome. A little transformer. I don't know what year this guy's from. Still pretty cool though. Probably looks newer but it might not be i don't know guys not really into hot wheel stuff but i always think it's cool just coming across like the collector cases i don't know something about this stuff i'm just a sucker for but 
pretty cool. We got our little pile over here and we're about to square away. All right, everyone, we are back at the house. Let's take an up close look at everything that we just picked up. All right, guys, chilling on the game room floor from that first deal that you guys saw. We picked up this Wii U bundle and funny enough, they actually threw in a free game and this is a great free game to pick up. We got Resident Evil, the Umbrella Chronicles, a pretty awesome game. Always nice when you get some throw-ins. Here we have the white Nintendo Wii U. We got the gamepad here. It definitely needs to be cleaned up. You can see some dust there, but other than that, it's in pretty decent shape. I think a little quick clean will bring it back to life. We've got the power cable here. Looks like we have the Wii U gamepad charger. Now, this does not appear to be original Nintendo, so it is third party. So, I mean, it could still work. There's probably not much value in terms of selling something like this, but still, I mean, at least everything's here by the looks of it. We do have a nunchuck i think this is authentic let's have a look you can tell by looking at this and that's what you're looking for right there it does say nintendo on there so that's authentic that's awesome down here kind of a mess guys but we do have the sensor bar usually it'll say nintendo on the back if it's authentic and it is so that's great this looks like some sort of third party wii u stand that's fine and then guys here we have the wii u you know we got to check it out and see if there's a bonus game go ahead and put some twisty ties around everything so so that way things look a little bit neater in here we have this plugged up let's see if there's a bonus game it's powering on i don't know if that sound means there's a bonus game but let's check it out uh y'all know we got to check it again why i don't know why no bonus game. All right, guys, some pretty good stuff today at the yard sales. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. I think first we're going to look at this. So I was not planning on getting this. I looked through it and I was just like, you know what? I don't need this. I don't think anything in here is worth picking up, especially probably not the flip. But I walked away after looking at it and the person at the yard sale was like, you can have that entire thing for a dollar. We're just trying to get rid of it. And I looked at her and I was like, ah. <sighs> I was like, okay, you guys talked me into it. So I figured real quick, let's go and go through it. We got I Spy. I think these are all PC games, by the way, but I don't know. Tonka, My Learning Scrapbook. So far, probably nothing here. I don't know. Disney's Brother Bear, uh, Adventures in Odyssey. And look, <laughs> Chick-fil-A. So this is like something they handed out probably in one of their kids' meals. First through uh, third grade, nothing there. Home Run Derby. Now, we saw this already, and I was like, you know what? That's actually kind of cool. I don't really need to be collecting stuff like this, but kind of cool to come across. So Rugrats, Shark Tale, Wild Thornberries. We have Garfield, American Builder, Matchbox. I kind of think maybe we can put all of these together in a bundle. Someone out there might pay, like, what, $10 for this entire binder? Maybe $15 if we're lucky. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's worth a shot. Some Tonka stuff, Reader, Rabbit, Veggie Tales, Jimmy Neutron, that's kind of cool. Crayola, Finding Nemo, Blues Clues, yeah, so a lot of just like kid stuff. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy in here, guys, but hey, might as well uh, flip through it. There we go, Legoland. If any of this was worth something, I'll probably throw it up on the screen, and if not, well, thanks for watching. We'll save those for the end. Let's jump into some toys, guys. We got Leonardo right here. I don't know if this is the sword that actually is supposed to go with him maybe maybe not but this is one of the talking turtles you'd put a little strip in the back and then you'd pull it and then he'd talk so kind of cool i'm actually trying to collect all the different turtle variants i don't remember if i have this one or not so if i don't have it i'm gonna hold on to it and if i do have it then i'll probably flip this so pretty cool next up we got a red power ranger i forget which series this is from but i think this guy was from 1999 if i'm not mistaken older 96 pretty cool there we got another leonardo here this is one of the newer ones and when i say newer i still think it's like early 2000s but newer compared to the 90s ones 2003 and i'm pretty sure we have this one already not really looking to collect any of the early 2000 turtles but they do look sick and if we pick them up cheap then okay why not next up a another vintage turtle we have Raphael. he's got like i don't know if that's dirt on him i kind of thought maybe this was like a different variant but 
I don't remember seeing a variant like this, so I'm pretty sure this is just like dirt or paint or something, but he does have the belt, so that's pretty cool. I can always use an extra belt, and yeah, I don't know. Just, he looks different. I might just hold on to it just because it looks kind of cool. Next up, we've got Splinter, 1988 on this guy, so that is awesome, and we've got Mikey. So always great to find vintage turtles, even some of the newer ones, which I guess technically 2003 I think is now considered vintage. Isn't it like 20 years? Y'all let me know down below. Is anything older than 20 years now considered vintage? Drop some comments and let me know. But yeah, pretty freaking awesome little haul here. And we do have this transformer. I'm not sure what year it is, but if I found anything, I'm throwing it up on the screen. And if not, then I just, I didn't find anything. But yeah, this is kind of cool. We're not really looking to collect Transformers. We do have one right now in the collection. Maybe we'll hold on to them. It was so cheap. We just bundled everything up. I figured, hey, why not? And we got this guy over here. Not exactly sure what he's from. What is that, GV on the belt? I don't know. He looked cool. I think he's from the 90s. I went ahead and just picked it up. You guys are going to see me pick up any 90s action figure. If it looks interesting and it's cheap enough at a yard sale for like 50 cents, yeah, we're just going to go and pick it up kind of cool right here and then we've got one of the ghostbusters so egon i believe we got him for five bucks and little by little kind of how i started with my turtle collection and my power ranger collection i am trying to collect some more of the vintage ghostbusters stuff so right now i think we have two figures in the collection we don't have anything else but pretty freaking awesome to be adding this guy and guys let's push the toys over and let's talk about the games First of all, we got to talk about this one right here. Untitled Goose Game. Paid five bucks for it. This is a game I've actually been wanting to play. I feel like it's just one of those silly games that only makes sense to play on the Switch. So, don't know. We will find out at some point. And, yeah, you can tell it was pre-owned, I guess. So, I don't know where they got it from. I don't know. I don't know what sticker that is. But, yeah. Untitled Goose Game. Looking forward to checking that one out. And, guys, we picked up some more games here. We have Gran Turismo sport we have the steelbook so kind of cool not a huge steelbook collector but i do love coming across them getting my hands on them even if it's only temporary don't know exactly which of these ps4 games we're going to hold on to i know some of them we already have some of them we don't have so this one uh, not sure yet we might hold on to it we might play it at least first and then after that maybe kind of decide what we want to do with it next up we got grand theft auto 5 <laughs> one day guys one day we'll get the six i don't know don't know when but grand theft auto six it's got to be coming up right next up we have call of duty modern warfare pretty cool we've got the crew little by little i do kind of like picking up racing games i say it all the time that i'm not a huge racing game enthusiast but i don't know when you just find racing games so cheap they usually end up being pretty fun why not at least play it you know before you get rid of it so Next up, we got Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Gold Edition. So kind of, kind of cool there. Another Call of Duty game, World War II. Pretty awesome. And then, guys, this. I made sure that I was very transparent with the person I was buying this from. Um, I saw this and I was like, okay, something about these Wii games. They always appeal to me, even if it straight up looks like shovelware. I don't know. So looked at it. Of course, <laughs> you open it up. Not only is there this uh, kid's sports game, but right underneath you got uh wii sports and i was I, you know i told her i wanted to be honest i feel like sometimes you'll see people like hey, hey, yeah bonus game or sometimes you have no idea like honestly you just pick up a bunch of games you open it later and there's like two or three games shoved in here i opened it i was in front of her and i was like hey look there's two games just letting you know so pretty cool there and guys right here we have the grand theft auto trilogy a pretty awesome collection piece i'm almost positive we actually own all three of these games already so i'm going to check and see which ones are nicer do some condition upgrades and then we're probably going to add this box to the collection i don't think i have this i need to double check the game room is always crazy and sometimes i forget what we have in here but i'm almost positive we don't have this so this is definitely going to be a great collection piece to add to the collection all right everyone that is going to be it for today's episode drop some comments and let me know what your favorite thing was that you saw is it something that you're personally after is it a video game that you love drop some comments and let me know i love hearing from you guys hit that subscribe <coughs> button if you are new here that way you can stay in the loop for weekly videos and y'all until next time peace